How's it going everyone? So in this video, I'm going to talk about why does your leg hurt when you kick a soccer ball? So before I get started, please subscribe to my channel if you guys haven't already. I do appreciate the support. It helps my channel grow. Also, please like the video and share it. So I've been playing soccer for quite some time. Um, so have my friends um, and we've all had um, an injury or two. From playing it because if you play it long enough eventually you are gonna have something wrong maybe it just might be a sore leg um, sore thigh whatever it may be eventually it will cause um, some pain so what why does it hurt when you're kicking what's going on the first reason um, you could have a quad injury again your leg is sore so it could be a quad injury but from what either from a too long, so too long of a stride or too short of a stride. So if you were playing and again, you step just a little bit farther than normal, then you could have developed a quad injury and now every time you kick the soccer ball, it's going to hurt. So it's not necessarily from you kicking the soccer ball, it could have been that you previously hurt it again from a short or a long stride. So. Some other things I would test out to see if your leg hurts. See if the problem is actually kicking the soccer ball. So what I mean by this is try doing something else with your legs. Try doing different exercises, do different stretches. If there is pain from doing those different exercises, those different stretches, then the problem is actually your leg and not actually kicking the soccer ball. Again, a lot of people think their legs hurting because of the soccer ball but it could actually be from a former injury or for something that you did maybe the day previous or a couple of days before. So very important. The next thing that you're going to do, uh, what you wanna do before you kick the soccer ball and even after when it's sore is stretch, hands down. Um, I also played baseball for 15 years and if we did not stretch, every time we would throw the ball, our arm would be absolutely killing us. So if you're going to play soccer and you just show up on the soccer field and you kick the ball as hard as freaking possible, your leg is going to hurt a lot. It doesn't matter who you are. If you go into playing soccer and you're kicking the ball as hard as you can, or even kicking the ball hard in general, your leg is going to hurt because you have not stretched it out. There are lots and lots of stretches you can do for your legs. You can do the quad stretch where all you do is you hold your leg behind your back and um, you can do the stretch where you're laying on the ground, a figure four on the ground. Uh, you can do touching your toes. There's so many different stretches that you can do. What I would do is research some of the best stretches for soccer, go on the internet, find four or five different stretches and just try them out before you play soccer and make sure you do them after you're done playing soccer too. Because what happens is when you're done playing, your body is, um, it's high risk for developing injury even after you're done playing it because your muscles are all tight now. So you need to stretch it out. Stretching is very important. Uh, next thing, I will put a link in the description box to a product that will help with your leg injury. Um, not your leg injury, but when it hurts when you kick the ball, there is a product. I will put it in the description box. You guys can check it out if you want to. Another reason too is you could actually have a torn muscle or a torn ligament, believe it or not. And um, if you have a torn um, ligament or a torn muscle, you may not feel it when you're walking. You may only feel it when you're kicking the ball. So that's why I recommend, again, doing different types of exercises and seeing if anything hurts aside from when you're kicking that soccer ball. Because if it, if it hurts when you're not kicking the soccer ball, chances are it's not the actual kicking that's causing the issue. And if all else fails, go to the doctor. He will be able to tell what is wrong with you and he will easily be able to give you guys, um, he'll easily be able to give you guys a remedy to help with your injury. So end the video. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. If you haven't already, please like the video and share it. Thanks.